Why does any base number to the power of zero equal one? We'll uncover that mystery as well as learn a few things about positive and negative exponents. A positive exponent tells us how many times to multiply a base number. In this case, both the base number and the exponent is a two. The base number is the larger two and the exponent is the smaller two located in the upper right hand corner. Since this exponent is a positive 2, it's telling us how many times to multiply the base number. In this case, 2 to the power of positive 2 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. And a negative exponent tells us how many times to divide a base number. In this example, the exponent is a negative 2, and this tells us how many times to divide the base number. And this can be represented as 1 over 2 times 2 or 1 over 2 to the power of positive 2, or 1 fourth. I just showed you that 2 to the power of 2 has a value of 4, and 2 to the power of negative 2 has a value of 1 fourth. So 4 times 1 fourth, or 1 fourth of 4, is equal to 1. So 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2 must also be 1. 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2 can also be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 2. And any number divided by itself is always 1. The important thing to remember is when you're moving the term that has the negative exponent to the bottom of the fraction that you're changing it from a negative exponent to a positive exponent. Let's take another look at this expression 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2. The blue term, 2 to the power of positive 2, can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 over 1. And the red term, 2 to the power of negative 2, can be expressed as 1 over 2 to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 to the power of 2. When we multiply straight across, we have 2 to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 2. And any number divided by itself is 1. For example, 2 to the power of 2 means 2 times 2. And on the bottom part of the fraction, 2 to the power of 2 also means 2 times 2. Since 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4, then 4 divided by 4 equals 1. We just proved that 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2 equals 1. Here's another way to look at it. When multiplying two terms that have the same base, we add their exponents, but in this case, we're adding a negative. Exponent 2 minus exponent 2. That leaves us with exponent 0. 2 to the power of 0 equals 1. Let's do another one using the variable x as the base number. x to the power of 4 times x to the power of negative 4. That equals x to the power of 0. We can prove that a few ways. The base number is the same, and exponent 4 minus exponent 4 is 0. Since a negative exponent means how many times we divide the base number, we can move the term with the negative exponent to the bottom of a fraction, changing the exponent to a positive. In this case, we have x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 4. And any number divided by itself is 1. That's one example showing why x to the power of 0 equals 1. Let's show another example. They have the same base number, so we can add the exponents. Or in this case, we can add a negative 4, which would be 4 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0 making the exponent 0. Since 1 equals x to the power of 0, then x to the power of 0 equals 1. Let's take a look at two methods side by side. 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of negative 1. They have the same base number, 3, and we add the exponents. In this case, we're adding a negative 1. 4 minus 1 is 3, so the exponent is 3. Now for the right-hand side we'll put the positive exponent on top, 3 to the power of 4. And we'll move the term with the negative exponent to the bottom, remembering to change the exponent to a positive. So the fraction reads 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 1. 
You'll notice here that the exponent on top minus the exponent on the bottom equals 3. And just like on the left side, we would have 3 to the power of 3. Let's go back to the right side of the screen. We can represent 3 to the power of 4 as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And on the bottom of the fraction, we can represent 3 to the power of 1 as 3. 3 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still equal to 3, but we can use these 1s as a placeholder. 3 divided by 3 equals 1, so essentially they cancel each other out. What's left is 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 to the power of 3 over 1, which is 3 to the third power, and of course 27. Now let's do 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of negative 2. The base number is the same, and 4 plus a negative 2, or 4 minus 2, is 2. 3 to the power of 2, and 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, which is 9. Now let's look to the right-hand side. We have the term with the positive exponent on the top, and we've moved the term with the negative exponent to the bottom, changing the exponent to a positive. 3 to the power of 4 over 3 to the power of 2. And that's the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 over 3 times 3 times 1 times 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Essentially, these cancel each other out, so what you have left is 3 times 3 over 1 times 1, which is equivalent to 3 to the power of 2 or 9. Next, let's do 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the negative 3. The base number is the same, and we add the exponents. In this case, we're adding a negative 3, so 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3. Now to the right-hand side of the screen. The term with a positive exponent goes on top, and we'll put the term with the negative exponent on the bottom, changing the negative exponent to a positive. So the fraction reads 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 3. 3 to the power of 4 is equivalent to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 to the power of 3 is equivalent to 3 times 3 times 3 times 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. All these cancel each other out. So what you're left with is 3 over 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3. This is the same as 3 to the power of 1. Let's do one last example that will leave us with an exponent of 0 and a value of 1. 3 to the 4th power times 3 to the negative 4th power. Their base number is the same and we'll add the exponents. In this case we're adding a negative 4, so 4 minus 4, that's 0. 3 to the power of 0. And that's equal to 1. Let me use the right-hand side of the screen to show you why. 3 to the power of 4, that's a positive exponent, so that stays on top of the fraction, times 3 to a negative 4. That's a negative exponent, so we get to move that to the bottom of the fraction, changing the exponent from negative to positive. The quick and easy answer here is 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 4 is 1 because any number divided by itself is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1.